Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Drew here, and today is day number 818 review video. Uh, made some pretty nice uh, commission up there last night, so I just want to talk about this a little bit here to give you guys kind of like, you know, motivate you kind of thing, right? So think about this, okay? I just did a withdrawal pretty late last night, you know, uh, 11 hours ago, and it's 9, here, it's 9.55 right now, so 10. 10 o'clock right now what time is it now in Toronto I'm pretty close to Toronto so 9 55 a.m. there's the date all that stuff right okay and you can see here the video was uploaded uh, 11 hours ago okay so 11 hours ago I did a withdrawal I bought a hundred dollar investment in this video right now that I'm making I can combine these two investments together and that'll send my balance up to here and then I'll do a withdrawal, um, big, nice, juicy withdrawal in this video. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do that, okay? So, um, look at this, guys. As I was sleeping, another almost $300 came in, you know, another $1.50 or so, and it'd be uh, uh, $300. So, possibly as I'm making this video, I'll make another commission, and uh, it'll be $300. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. In 11 hours, what was I doing? I watched a movie after I did my video on Netflix. I went to sleep. I woke up in the morning, fed the dogs, uh, ate my breakfast, um, did nothing to do with work. I think I watched a couple YouTube videos or something like that. And then I started making this video. Um, $300 a commission came in as I was sleeping and, and watching a movie on Netflix. <laughs> it's pretty crazy if you think about it that way. So I hope that encourages you guys to go out there, step out of your comfort zone, maybe start doing videos or just start, you know, even just start doing something small, like going on your Facebook, finding some like-minded friends and uh, just going and making some posts that you're putting in front of them there. Okay. So you can see this investment here, guys, that I bought yesterday. I went and paused in this video here just so I could talk about this. So this was yesterday's video that I did, day 817. Did it 11 hours ago. Oh, look it. We're over 800 subscribers now on YouTube. That's awesome. So you'll see this here, guys. If you watch this video, I made this investment in the video, this $100 investment here. And you can see that it has a little X over it. Okay? So this is a new thing that they've implemented in the system within the last probably three months or so, um, but I don't show it in my videos a lot is because I'm not making investments constantly. I'm not compounding and building and, and doing all that, guys. Whenever I just want to move funds around quickly, maybe I might make a $100 investment to take out profits to, you know, say I have to pay something next week or something like that, right? So for instance, um, the funds I have in here, uh, about 1500 US, and then what I'm going to withdraw today this amount here, and then the commission I made last night, that's going to go to pay my credit card and my wife's credit card, which is due like next month sometime, right? But I wanted to make this content here so I could do this because this is a new thing, guys, and I haven't talked about it yet in video, is this little X here, okay? So really, it's not going to make a difference. It's not good. It's not bad. It's, you know, it doesn't make a difference at all, guys. What this is, is if you were to go and make an investment and hover over the little X button there, it basically just says they're moving the funds to go and put them into the trading is basically what it says. Okay. Not exactly that wording, but that's basically in a nutshell what it says. Okay. You can still turn your investment off. So meaning that it'll accumulate a monthly profit, but that monthly profit won't get uh, reinvested, it would send it to the withdrawal balance. Like you see me do, cause I'm withdrawing now. I'm not compounding and building anymore. And the only compounding and building that I do is with my bonuses. I put them back into the market, right? So, uh, from the commission structure. So, um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk about that really, really quick and show you here. Uh, so I wanted to make a, a piece of content about that guys, just because that is a new thing there, but in all honesty, it doesn't make a difference. Like just wait. A couple hours or, or however how long you have to wait there right so i'm going to combine these together here it's going to send my monthly income balance up to there and then i'll do a withdrawal it's going to combine this hundred dollar investment with the fifty one thousand eight hundred and sixty dollar investment there and i'll show you that right now to do that so there you go that balances up there so i've got 3560 up there now and then if I scroll down here, you'll see those two investments are now combined together. There it is right there. 
Okay, so and also this resets your investment date. Okay, so it resets it down to zero. So think like this: if you are thinking, "Hey, I want to withdraw my actual investment funds," right? Then that would be a problem for you because it resets your investment date because you're actually creating a new investment. You're combining your investments together, which creates a new investment for you. Okay, it still tells you the total investment earnings from that, right? But it combines them together. Uh, type thing there. So if you're going and you're thinking, like say for instance, you come along and you invest 50K into here and you're like, yeah, I'm going to pull out when that 50K makes 50K, then I'm going to pull that 50K out. I don't know. Maybe someone thinks like that out there. I definitely wouldn't. Um, you know, S group is working for me, so I just keep on going with it <laughs> type thing there. So, but maybe someone is thinking like that out there, guys, where they put in 50K and they're thinking, okay, in 12 months from now, when, uh, you know, there's no fee on there, as you can see over here, guys, right? The fee, 30% commission. Oh, it's my, I think my computer screen's frozen. 30% commission, 20% commission, a 10% commission, and then no fee after one year. And you can see the dates there. Just compare them with the actual investment date. You'll see it's like three months, uh, six months, nine months, and one year, something like that, right? So we'll come back over here, guys. We'll go to finance. Uh, we're going to do a withdrawal here and SWCT. So 3559. So 3559 because there's a $1 fee. Go to my wallet. My computer it sounds like it's going to take off. The fan's going like crazy on it. I'll get this code over here. Pop that sucker in there. Okay. And then hit this. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so go like that, go like that, and there you go. Okay, so just did a withdrawal there, guys. Big, nice, juicy withdrawal. So let's see how much is going to be in my S wallet compared to uh, CAD. So I think I have 1500 in it right now, roughly. Yeah, 1454. So that's the commission this week, guys. Fourteen fifty-four. That's pretty good. Okay. So this here. So yeah, five thousand USD I made from Monday till now. Uh, USD to CAD, and today's Saturday, right? Six thousand seven hundred eighteen bucks. Canadian. That's pretty nice. Pretty good. And we still have two more days to go because it's 10 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. All and right. So I'm back. I uh, wasn't expecting that I would get my withdrawal that I just did like two hours ago uh, into the S wallet this fast. But hey, it happened and I was editing the video and I saw it come in and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this video all today and uh, make uh, one video here where I'm doing a withdrawal from S group to S wallet and then I'll do a. Uh, in the same video, obviously, because I'm putting them together, I'll do a withdrawal from S Wallet to uh, Crypto Address. So I'll send Ethereum, and then I'm going to send that to my sh my ShakePay account that will pay off uh, our credit cards there. But I won't record that video because you guys have seen that enough. I'll just do a withdrawal out of S Wallet in this video. Also, I made another hundred and five dollars of commission as I was editing the video. You can see like five commissions or so came in there. That's that. We'll come over here. We'll exchange this and sell that into ethereum i'll just sell the max there <clears throat> then i'll do two withdrawals of this ethereum i'll send some to my wallet to my bank and then i'll send the rest to uh i'll send it to my wife's so she can pay off our credit cards with that and there's that there so that's all good Go to dashboard, and then it's all in Ethereum there. So that cost me, see, I've got 4963 So it cost me like 50 bucks or so to do that, guys, there, which, uh, you know, you got to pay for a transaction, right? It's the same as the bank. When you do a transaction in the bank, you got to pay for it as well. So crypto works the same way. So we're going to go here to send, and she sent me her address, I think, through Facebook. So I'll grab this address here. And this will send to her. So back here, there's the wallet address there. And then I got to figure out how, oh no, man. 
<laughs> Jeez. Don't want to be sending Ethereum to a Bitcoin address. That would be a disaster. <laughs> okay. So um, we got to figure out how much is this. So I'll do five. So say 5,100 uh, or no. 5,100 Canadian, C-A-D to E-T-H. Let's see if there's a converter like that. Oh, no, it doesn't tell you. Maybe this website will tell me. 2.49 E-T-H, E-T-H to C-A-D, Canadian, is 2. Okay, so that's one Ethereum. So it's five thousand one hundred and one dollars and sixty cents. Okay, so that sounds right. About right, two point four nine. So I'll go back to S Wallet. I'll put in um, two point four nine Ethereum's, and then I'll send that. And then also we have to check to see if the USD amount is is right to the Canadian amount, and we can check that on the transactions page. Okay, and then the email code is here. So which one's the newest one? Yeah, that one there. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my email code. Oops, going back here, popping that sucker in there. Okay, and then I'm uh, just sending that off. Okay, so that's on its way there now. I'll go back to dashboard here, and I've got 15 or 1100 bucks still in there. So I'll send that 1100 to my bank, and that'll pay my uh, car payment for that comes out in a couple days there. So um, to transactions, and this is going through there. So three. Three seven nine one. Three seven nine one. USD to CAD is five thousand eighty bucks. So that's perfect. That's good because I told her I'd send it for five thousand dollars. All right, nice, nice, very nice. That'll give uh, enough money to pay off our credit cards for this month. Um, cause I went on the ski trip with my son and I, uh, racked up a nice credit card bill. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to shoot back over here to S wallet. I'm going to go into my shake pay account and I'll send that other funds to my shake pay account. So you guys will see me go in there. Okay. So here we are inside the shake pay account and yes, I leave nothing in here guys. And I highly recommend you the same thing. If you're using a third party wallet. I go add funds and then I'm going to add Ethereum. The reason why I use Ethereum guys is because uh, it's just, we can, as you saw there, we can only use Bitcoin and Ethereum in Canada here. So I just use Ethereum. So exchange, we're going to go, oh no, we already exchanged everything there. So we go that leftover Ethereum and I'll just put that in my bank, click on the max and it's going to be 0.75, which was like, 1100 bucks or something like that usd so that's um actually we can figure it out here in a, in a little bit there we'll just go to the uh transactions page okay so go back here and there's my code there so this is a pretty good video guys we got two withdrawals out of s uh wallet and then we've got one big huge juicy withdrawal in this video out of s group so some pretty good content and I got to go into this emails, get that code. Okay. And then back to S wallet, pop the sucker in there, click on that. And then that's sent off. Confirm that guy, go to transactions and we'll figure this out. So yeah, it's still on its way there. It's processing. So this amount here, just want to see how much I'm going to get to my, uh, my account there so that usd to cad is 1500 bucks yeah so 15 uh 1537 and then the other withdrawal that i did in this video guys to a different 
Ethereum address, which was my wife's ShakePay account there. Uh, that was $5,080 Canadian there. So you can see, um, start to finish there, guys. You saw me making money in S Group there, some commissions and then the uh, monthly profits from one of my $50,000 investments, sent it to S Wallet, and then did uh, two withdrawals from S Wallet to Ethereum addresses. One was my wife's, and then one was mine. And then you saw, um, well, you know, I put it into the shake pay. You saw me go grab the address for the shake pay address there. And then I won't record this part guys, but what I do is I just go buy and sell. Um, it's going to be sitting up here in Ethereum, right? And then I would go convert it into Canadian dollar. And then I would sell that $1,500 Ethereum into Canadian dollar. Boom. Click on continue there. And then I would go send and I would just send it to my bank as an e-transfer. And I can do up to $10,000 a day. So, you know, I'm not making $10,000 a day yet online. So I've got a lot of room to grow here um, with S Group. And yeah, I guess once I start making over 10,000 Canadian a day, which the time will come, um, then I'll have to think of something else how to do this. But honestly, it's like if you're making 70,000 Canadian a week, how much more do you need? <laughs> right? It's kind of crazy. So... That's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I'll do a withdrawal of this tomorrow when I make my, uh, you know, whatever commissions up there. Uh, we'll do a withdrawal of that tomorrow. And uh, I'll make a, because I said at the start of this video, I was going to do a video on how to, you know, how to make Facebook content, how to build a following. So you're not like pitching to your family and friends. And I'll talk about why maybe you don't want to do that and why you should promote to people who are looking to buy what you're selling or people that are just interested in uh, making money online and they understand the risk of making money online because that's a big thing, guys, that we need to talk about out there. Uh, luckily, we have S Group and the risk is extremely minimal. Like if you've noticed, if you pay attention to this, um, when markets are unsafe and unstable, uh, they minimize the risk, right? So if we do have a loss, our loss would be about roughly what our gains are. So if our, if our gains... On, 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 ugh, on an unstable market are 0 0.30 to 0 0.40 like they were through here, right? The last like two, three months. Looks like we're coming out of it now because we had an average week. Uh, last week, you can see there almost made $1,000 US on a $51,000 investment, which is average for 2022, right? And then this here was uh, way less. Like we were making like 700 bucks a week there on a $50,000 investment roughly USD. Um, so what I was saying, guys, is, you know, if, if they're averaging uh, 0 0.30 to 0 0.40, then they're saying our risk for loss per day would be 0 0.30 to 0 0.40, as in our risk management for a reward would be 0 0.30 to 0 0.40. Like, that's how you think when you're trading. You just don't go all in and like, oh, I'm risking it all kind of thing like that. That's how you blow through your account or whatever. If, if you've ever traded before, it's not a good strategy. Um, but you can see here, guys, over the last week here, we're coming out of this. And I'm thinking we're going to go back to something like this, where the averages go up a bit. You know, a $50,000 investment is going to make a couple hundred dollars more a week. And I don't think with the economy we're in, we're ever going to see something like this again, guys, um, unless things turn around maybe 2025 or something. But I think we're going to see something like this over the next year, where our monthly percentage might go up by 2% from what we were seeing the last couple of months here. Uh, but nothing like to write home about or anything. If, if you're sitting on a big investment, you're making a lot of money, um, even in a market that's 0 0.30 to 0 0.40 averages in S group. So the message here that I'm sending to my team guys, and I hope they're listening <laughs> to this message is focus on your investment amount and don't like focus on, I need to make 1% per day. Oh, I need to think of S group as a Ponzi scheme. You know, like, don't think like that. Focus on your investment over your daily percentage. If you want to think about a daily percentage, you're not going to be happy with S group because there's going to be some days where you're going to make like over 1%. You're going to be like, Oh, this is so amazing. This is so great. And then a week later, you might make a day where you're like 0 0.10. And then you're gonna be like, Oh, this sucks. This is God. Uh, I don't like this. And then the next day you're 0 0.63 and you're like oh this is okay this is you know i'm happy i guess kind of thing you need like to this focus. make an extra couple hundred thousand dollars us a year which is like three hundred thousand canadian um in a year there and every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger 
uh, when, with using free marketing strategies, with just using social media and stuff like that. So you can do it as well. We're going to talk about that in, in tomorrow's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Drew, and I'll see you guys in another, another video here shortly. Bye-bye.